There we go. Now it's working. All right. <laughs> Your soulmate was jealous of our love and banded with Nate. Rue, how could you betray us like that, my dude? I mean, I like Nate and all. He's a cool guy, but come on. Come on. <laughs> You're going to give up the two of us for Nate? And Nate, same goes for you, my guy. Rue's pretty cool, but like... You're just gonna you're just gonna kill us off like that, dude? It's rude. Rude, I tell you. Anyways, though, how about how about we get into this, shall we? So I do have the new the new DLC, the biotech DLC. Courtesy of Nate. Thank you again for that, my guy. Seriously, I appreciate it. Um I deleted the majority of the mods that I had installed before. But I still have a lot. <laughs> so you can see them here. Uh, most of them aren't like too gameplay changing. Like all memories fade just causes certain things, cer certain negative events to, to decay more quickly. Um, auto cut blight is just convenient. Although I they do have like a cut all thing now for the blight that they added into the base game, which is nice. Uh, but... You still have to like go in and click the button, and if it spreads, you have to click it again. Whereas this just automatically does it. Um, capture them is just an easier way of capturing people by like dragging. Ch -ch Colony Manager is a actual like gameplay changing mod, but I really like the workbench that it adds the manager bench. Doormat and Dub Spy add hygiene also do change the game a bit. Uh, doormat just adds doormats, not a huge change. Dub's bad hygiene though adds like toilets and bathing and the need to drink and and all of that stuff. It's a pretty big change. I'm not gonna lie, but I really really like that in the game, so I decided to keep it anyways. Um, everything else though I think is pretty much just small stuff. I have miscellaneous robots installed, but we may get rid of it depending on how uh how the new stuff is because like they added some robot stuff in the game um all right as for like the actual gameplay that we're going for uh we got lost tribe i think just because i kind of want to start with five people because what i'm thinking is um we may disable and i'm, I'm looking for feedback so go ahead and tell me what you guys think but I'm thinking of disabling enemy raids. We can still get attacked, just not by enemies unless we provoke them in some way. Um, like if we if we provoke them in some way, they can still attack. There, there are certain situations where they can still attack, but they won't just randomly spawn in and, and murder us. And the reason I want to do that is because, honestly, I just want to get to the end game. Like, like... Maybe not the very, very end, but close to the end because I want to see all the new gene editing stuff and the robots and, and all of that stuff, you know, because they added a bunch of cool stuff, but you have to get to that point first. So the game's going to be more chill and much more slow, <laughs> honestly. And that's why I'm like, is that, do you guys want that? Do you not? Rue says that sounds fun, actually. So that's what I'm thinking, but but what do y'all want to see, though? That's what's important to me. Oh, hell no. Don't put that shit on me. You died last time. That is true, Rue. You did die last time with the, uh, the, the, the heist, that is. Oh, by the way, you got me at it. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I closed Pokemon already, but whenever I uh, open it back up, hopefully... I don't know, like, if I... I guess I probably don't have to accept anything because, like, I already... I sent you the request, so... I'm, I'm assuming we're good there. Huh. Nobody nobody else has gotten any input? Then it sounds like that's probably what we're going to do. Uh, so I already made one that has that in there. But just to show you guys what all the options are, I will go into edit here. So we can call it whatever the hell we want. We'll call this like uh, uh, p -p -p easy mode. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just something you can also like redo the summary in the description and whatnot for like what the intro is player faction new arrivals new tribe new tribe you start with i believe less tech and less gear and you don't crash land in um so that's cool i'm fine with tribe starting people five that's what i wanted arrival method oh you get a pick there uh forced health condition uh so they're all malnourished to start with i don't really care for that 
Set need level food? Uh, I don't... I don't know what this slider means, but I'm assuming the other side's good. <laughs> Player starting characters. Uh, okay, okay. Start with a little bit of silver, some pemmican, herbal medicine, clubs. Um, just random things. Pets. Start with three random pets. I like that, too. That's cool. Start near some wood. Game starting dialogue, so we can actually change, like, the pop-up. But the thing that I like is here, you can add all kinds of things, like custom things, to the game. So, like, you can do a completely naked run, right? You could you could have, like, a single person naked run. Something I've seen before is people spawn in, like, the Arctic and uh, just get... I forget what they call it, but it's, like, an extremely hard mode where, where you're in the, 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 the Arctic, freezing cold, with nothing, and you're naked. And you have to you have to try to build up a base and survive. Um, but the thing is, like, if you don't do the first part very very quickly, like getting a fire and a room built, you'll just freeze to death before <laughs> before you can even do anything. It's uh it's fucking crazy. Uh, go full fucking nudist. Yeah, you could do that. Um, you can have characters that explode on death. <laughs> Everyone just explodes when they die. That's something you can do. Um, you can disable specific incidents, which is the one I'm going to do is the, there's a lot of them, obviously. The only one we're going to do is enemy raid, I think is what it's called. Um, flu plague, self-taming, wanderers joining is fine. Ransom demands are fine. Cold snap, flash storms. God, I'm blind. There's friendly raid. Enemy raid. There it is. But yeah, there's just so many things you can do. You can also, like, spawn with an incident that's going on. You can also make it just basically infinite. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's even a permanent thing here. Yeah, permanent game condition. So, like, if you wanted to, you could have the world just completely covered in toxic fallout and do a run like that, which is cool. You could have a, uh... What are the options for actual, like, permanent incidents? Oh, no, wait, 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 go back. I don't want to upload. Um, cannot hunt, cannot mine. No, 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 none of that. Naked, no possessions, permanent game condition. So you can have... <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. <coughs> you can have permanent toxic fallout. I think that would be fun. Volcanic winter could be fun, too. Um, permanent flash storms. That would be annoying because things would just constantly be catching on fire. A constant climate cycle? I don't know what that is. Constant acidic smog, like, there's just, yeah. There's a lot of uh, really cool stuff I think you could do uh, if we wanted to with it. I don't think there's anything else that I start with mechanoid research stat multipliers. Add custom structure. No stru- wait, what? What is that? I have no idea. Anyways, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead and accept that one. Next. And uh, save it. Sure. Easy mode. Save. Done. Okay. So we are we are going to go with Cassandra Classic. We're going to go with a slightly harder mode. I'm not going to go to like the hardest difficulty. Um, maybe, maybe we go in the middle. Do we go in the middle or in Blood and Dust? Like the Strive to Survive. That's like one step above the, the normal one. Um, it's like semi-normal, I guess, right? It's medium hard, or do we want to go with hard? Blood and dust. I'm fine with either one. And we're going to do reload anytime. We're not going to save scum, but because streaming, I don't want us to, like, have the game crash and then, <laughs> and then lose all the fucking progress, so. Strive to survive on a rough, tough planet. There will be triumph and tragedy. Or... Blood and dust face brutal survival challenges. Even if you play well, people will die. You will need to anticipate threats before they arrive and seek out every advantage. Now, remember, whatever difficulty we pick is going to be a little bit easier than normal because enemy raids are one of the most brutal things in the game. And we have that disabled. So, it's going to be a little bit easier for us no matter what. But thankfully, we can change difficulty later. So maybe maybe we'll start with the the true medium or whatever the strive to survive now, like you suggested, Rue, and then later on we can we can bump it up if we so please. Um, 
this is all fine. I usually turn insects off, but to keep the little bit of extra challenge, I'm going to have insects on. That's basically, for anyone who doesn't know, if you dig into a mountain, um, there's a chance that a group of insects, bloodthirsty insects, spawn, <laughs> basically, and try to murder you. But on the plus side, you can use their meat to make, like, kibble and things. And uh, there's also insect jelly, basically, like, honey kind of deal. Um, that you can that you can collect and eat and whatnot and people people enjoy that I think we're only gonna do a 50% world I do plan on maybe exploring a little bit more uh, during this run than than I normally would but 100% is just a little bit overkill usually and pollution default sounds good generate dude oh, man I've been thinking a lot about our religion too what we want to have. I'm thinking of kind of just having us be like psychopaths, <laughs> to be honest. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Oh, God. What kind of biome do we want to start with? That's another thing. Um, the year round summer ones are nice. Like, it just it makes the game kind of easy. Uh, but we're, we already have the game kind of easy. So maybe, maybe we go a little bit to the south or the north here. Uh, is there any good looking places to the north? It'd be nice to be relatively close to some friends so that if we want to, we can, we can like go visit them and things. Okay, it looks like there's a lot of people over here in Gleb's Collapse Basin. Uh, what's the weather like over here? 40 out of 60 days for the growing season. That's not too bad. Uh, probably just off the road. I don't want the road running through the middle of town. Just because I don't like the look of it, to be honest. And who are these people? You're hostile. You're hostile. <laughs> uh, hostile. Hostile. Okay, you're not hostile. You're both neutral. Huh. I was hoping to have at least some friendly tribes around us. Did we accidentally not spawn any friendly tribes? What's <laughs> Okay, you're friendly. So there's just a shit ton of unfriendly people right there. Uh, I guess maybe we could do, like, over here. Right off this river. Because you're still hostile, you're still hostile. But, there's these two not hostile factions, but they are, they are royalty factions, which are kind of annoying. Because then you gotta go down the whole royalty line to get them to, to care about you at all. Are those the only friendly factions? No. Here's one. Trader's Stream. What's the uh, weather like down here? Why am I not getting the pop-up anymore? Uh, advanced? No. Average temperature. Why am I not getting the... There we go. Ah, it's year-round. See, I wanted to, I wanted to have the, the full set of seasons. Okay, let's go further south. It's still year-round. Son of a bitch! Oh, maybe, maybe we need to go farther north, actually, then. What are you? Hostile. 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 Everyone fucking hates us. Okay, you guys aren't hostile. What kind of is this? Is it a boreal forest? 30 out of 60 days. What if we come down here? 30 out of 60 days. Son of a bitch. What are you? You're not hostile. And that's still relatively close to that. It's like halfway in between. I'm kind of into it. Do we get s some hills? This is flat, flat, small hills. Maybe maybe we do just do flat. Right off the road there. We're halfway in between. We still have some enemies close by. It looks good. Temperate forest. Pollution, 0%. Awesome. Uh, average temperatures, 56. That's fine. Average disease frequently frequency. So the diseases are a little bit more common. That's fine. All right, create custom religion. Let's go. Uh, create custom. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Hmm, what do we want our structure to be? Abstract theist, Christian, Islamic, Hindu, embodied theist. What is that? The gods walk the planets like us, yet they are powerful and immortal as we are not. They decide the moral structure of the universe. That actually kind of sounds good. Um, cause my idea with this, I don't have the prepare carefully mod, which lets us actually change people's stats, 
But since we're all going to be like gene people, I was kind of thinking of having us be like basically gods among men and just thinking we're better than everyone else. <laughs> and but we want to uh, eventually like use them as our test subjects and, uh, and, and, and breed more superior people like us, kind of, which pretty shitty, honestly. But <laughs> I think it fits the theme of the whole uh, gene editing biotech expansion that we got here. So embodied theist isn't so bad. Chaotic? Chaotic's not an option. Although it does make sense. Do it? Embodied theist, man. I think I think that one works. Architects are the true gods. They know the moral structure of the universe and serve them is how we will connect with it. Uh nah. Yeah, embodied theist. Let's go. Okay. So now we need to choose our memes. I don't really want to be <laughs> a supremacist, <laughs> but like Mm, maybe? I mean, it, we kind of are, <laughs> right? Like, that's kind of what we're going for. Stand for our own before others? No. Guilty? Carry guilt from ages past? No. Each person is a free individual? Meh. <laughs> Collectivist? Each person is part of a greater whole? Nah. Supremacist? Let's go. Uh, Transhumanists? Transhumanists would kind of make sense. We want to incorporate technology into our bodies, but we're we're all like uh, biological gods, though, right? So I don't know. Crystalizer, we're gonna do that one because it's a lot easier to spread our religion and keep our religion whenever we processize to people. So blood feeding, I mean, there's gonna be at least one person that blood feeds. Human primacy, no. Nature primacy, high life. Maybe just that one. Fresh flesh purity? Definitely not. Pain is virtue? No. Animal personhood? No. Darkness? <laughs> I, I like that, but no. Nudism? <laughs> Cannibals. Like I said, we, we are kind of thinking we might end up being cannibals. That's all I'm saying. We, we might end up being cannibals, dude. <laughs> Leg? <Black. laughs> No. <laughs> meat is meat, though, man. That's how we're looking at it. Like, what's the difference between animal meat and human meat? We're not human at this point. We're above the humans. So, eh. <laughs> we might end up being cannibals, dude. No, please. <laughs> I mean, true. But, <laughs> look, I'm not saying it's not gross. But, like... All right. On the at the very least, then we're gonna have to make it so it's it's okay to butcher people. Maybe we'll only feed them to our animals, <laughs> but <laughs> but we won't eat them ourselves. If that's an option, we'll do something like that then. All right. Traumatized by that one criminal mind episode. I've never watched a single episode of it, so I have no idea what you're talking about. But the people of the dim volcano world nu. It is squabbled endlessly and Vexa Scubai became tired of discord and anointed the Vexus Scubiists. <laughs> oh my god, these words, man. Look, I can't English that well. That's that's a lot. Uh okay. Slavery is not honor honorable, because <laughs> that's too much even for me, but it's acceptable. Whatever. Execution. Don't care. Um Female clothing, male clothing, I, I, no rules. I don't care what you guys wear. Organ use, uh, acceptable. Cannibalism, will disapprove of it. To leave our ID, yeah, disapprove of that. Blindness is whatever. Oh, we can't, we can't actually change blindness. Fungus, can't change that. Execution is fine do whatever you want uh corpses don't care diversity of thought that's the other mm. 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 moderate bigotry <laughs> i think for for the type of people that we're going for i think moderate bigotry is acceptable insect meat is i mean i don't really want it loved it sucks that it can only be loved or despised. I guess loved. Is there any, like... 
There's nothing more divine. So, okay, so there's no, like, penalty to not eating it. I guess that's fine. Diversity of thought. Physical love. Uh, free. Um, eating nutrient paste. Can't can't do it because of uh, certain memes. Frequent prosthesizing research. Uh, we are super fast, people. Um, we, we, we super smart. That's all we do all day. Skull spikes, can't do anything with that. Scarification, bad. Free and approved for free love. Free love, man. Organ use acceptable. Women's spouses. Women may only have one spouse. Uh, I don't care. Have as many as you want. Whatever. <laughs> Who am I to judge? Ran marriage name, random. That's fine. Where's the one that I changed? And then, oh, right here. Research. Very fast, dude. I don't care. Just give it to us. <laughs> Add precept. Oh my god, there's so many. Um, I didn't realize how many there was. Body mods, drug use, killing innocent animals, lighting, combat, meat eating, mining, raiding. All this stuff is fine. We don't need to change any of this stuff. Yeah, we can leave all the other stuff. It's fine. We are all the worst parts of a conservative. We're pretty bad people, man. <laughs> So our leader is a divine chief? Uh, no. Because, like, we're meant to be gods or whatever. They need to be not a divine chief, but just, like, divine... Just divine one, I guess. Divine one. Moral guide. Converter of violence. <laughs> sure. Melee specialist. Crush funk. <laughs> I can't. I guess. Sure. Whatever, dude. Uh, shooting specialist. Point slinger. Hold on. What other rules are there available? Um, plant specialist. Production. Okay, yeah. I, I feel like we're not going to have melee or <laughs> or shooting ones. Um, oh, we can't do the other one because we don't have the, the memes. Oh. Lame. Okay, well, never mind then. We're getting those back. Cuddlator and Trigger Slinger now. That's fine. That's fine. We're going to keep those. <laughs> Required apparel. Tail cap. What? And a bowler hat? Oh, my God. <laughs> Look, you don't, you don't have required stuff there for that. The leader can be required to wear a visage mask, visage mask. I don't know how that's pronounced, but whatever. And <laughs> a hood. For, for the moral guide. That's fine. Whatever. All right. Funeral. Um. Oh, man. What did, what would gods call it when one of their own die? Like, whenever they respect one of their own that have died. I have no idea. A. Ascending? Ah. Ascension. I don't know if I spelled that right. Someone feel free to correct me. I'm I'm positive that's wrong, actually. Isn't it like A-C-E-N-S-I-O-N? -S Ascension? That may be wrong. Let me know if it is. I'm fine with, with fixing that. Okay, we'll, we'll remove these ones. Uh, Christmas tree party? Dude. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I mean, I like the Sky Lantern Festival, actually. That one's kind of fun. Symbol burning? We burn the symbols of other gods. Other false gods. Um, gladiator duels? Maybe? Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's it. Social festival? Just, just a get-together? Everyone just comes and hangs out together? Sure, whatever. Alright, edit. What do we got? Uh, anytime? That's fine. Social festival, yeah. Symbol burning? On the 5th of Juggist? Sounds good to me. Discover Ancient Complex? Nearby Faction Goodwill. Random Recruit. For the Symbol Burning. Um, I feel like Symbol Burning wouldn't give us a random recruit. Or Nearby Faction Goodwill. Maybe it recharges our Psy Focus? Or, or no, we discover some some an Ancient Complex because that gives us some some knowledge from, from the True Gods or whatever. Fine. Um... This one can be random recruit. What's this one? That one's random recruit. Then this one can be recharging our side focus. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. 
Uh, doesn't look like anything's broken. That's good. Our buildings, we have a sheet, a strong altar, and a real image. <laughs> sure, whatever. That's fine. Symbol burning. Oh, wait. No, we're not fine. We need effigy, pyre, and sacrificial flag. Effigy, pyre, sacrificial flag. There we go. Okay. All looks good to me. Our relics. What are our relics, dude? Can't add more than three. Oh, well, I know, but which one do I like the look of most? I guess that one. This one looks like a dildo, so I kind of want to keep it. <laughs> Let's remove that one. <laughs> what else is there? What do what weapons do gods <laughs> wish they had? Something to do with war. Oh, the ark. An ark is fun. It's not really a uh, weapon, but whatever. A hilt, a pendant, auto pistol, Zeus's hammer. Dude, <laughs> I kind of like that. Zeus's hammer. Okay, just remove remove all of them. Definitely do a pendant. Okay, as a relic, got it. Our super memento, as it's called. Tox bomb launcher. What else is there? A flame bow. Cendary launcher. Pump shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of our, our sacred relics. It's just a pump shotgun. Persona Zeus hammer. That's kind of cool. I kind of like the plasma sword. Let's do a plasma sword. I don't know the difference between like a uh, a, a persona one and a, excuse me, <coughs> and a regular one, but whatever. Uh, weapons. Despised Ultratech. No. Uh, Neolithic Ultratech? Noble and Despise. Noble is Neolithic, Despise is all... Oh. Okay. Hmm. So... So you can have it so people hate a certain type of weapon and love a different type of weapon or whatever. Gotcha. And in that case, maybe... Because I don't think we're going to do that, but maybe instead of... We'll keep the hammer... As a relic, but maybe we should actually have a gun as the other one. Uh, maybe the flame bow. Like the flame bow. Hammers, lots of hammers. All the hammers, my guy. Minigun, pop, pump shotgun. I'm kind of, I think I am just going to do the pump shotgun. It's like, it's why not, dude? Why not? Venerated animal. So, venerated animal we can't kill or people get very upset with us. Should we have a venerated animal? Just remember... That it could get annoying. <laughs> uh, hmm. Let's do it. Okay, which one, though? There's quite a few. They're on the screen. It might be really small if you're looking on a phone. We have alpaca, alpha beavers, arctic foxes and wolves, bison, boomalopes, boom rats, capybaras, caribou, cassowary, cats, chickens, chinchillas, cobras, cougars, cows, the panther, deer, donkey, dromedary, duck, Tell me that wouldn't be cool. Panthers is our venerated. Now, that doesn't mean we get any of them. That just means we can't kill them. If we kill them, it's it, it upsets our gods, <laughs> basically, um, and therefore upsets us. Oh, Toxalope? I didn't even know that was a thing now. That's fine. Okay. Preferred Xenotype. Uh, any? I wish there's just, like... I wish there was a, like disliked a xenotype right because like i don't really have a preferred because we're going to be a mix of people we just don't really care for people that don't have a xenotype um hair any any hair is fine uh actually beards frequent <laughs> urban uh beards are rare i guess i don't know oh wait no this is minimal minimal beard is is uncommon you can't actually like expand this and see what they all are but i'm guessing urban is like common modern day stuff but we're not gonna have anything be just never people can wear whatever the fuck they want we don't care tattoos same with tattoos i'm not gonna like go crazy with it but whatever is fine okay done 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 preferred apparel <laughs> Is there anything 
that gods would prefer to wear over other stuff. Robes? Robes sound about right. Veils, visage masks, war masks, authority caps. I'm thinking, I'm thinking just robes. The blood of other false gods. That's not an option, but holy shit, dude. <laughs> I wish. That's really, yes. <laughs> that can be our headcanon. Noodle. Where the hell are you, Noodle? Hello? <laughs> I, I, I need water, if you don't mind, Noodle. If you can hear me. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I think robes, man. Relaxed robes. <laughs> Hi, it's about time you say something. You didn't even offer up like cats as a venerated animal, so we can't go on a murdering spree of them. I totally expected you to pop up and say something. I'm answering all of these, man. You guys can put your input too. Yeah, guys, it's fine. It'll just be Rue's religion again. We also need to decide what are we gonna call this series. The the other one we called the series the Rue Lights because. Well, we were the Rulites, but what the hell did we call this one? I have no idea. What it, were the... Okay, we can't have... What? <laughs> what even is this? Neo-Vexa Scubaism? <laughs> what? No, that is... that Neo... 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 neo Ru. <laughs> <laughs> oh... Uh, Neo Ru 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 Lit Ru Light it's Neo Ru's Neo Ru's Adjective Neo Ru uh, Member Noun Neo Ru Ritual Room Uh, The Ru Room <laughs> God, That's so fucking stupid Our color is going to be purple Because I like purple and that's really all there is to that. All right. Next. Let's go, dude. Room room? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can I get into the room? You're getting the water now. I'll unlock it real quick. Hold on. I'm going to unlock the door. I'll be right back. All right, room is unlocked. And yes, all the purple couldn't agree more, my guy. Okay, um, so before we even look at the people, we need to go to the Xenotype Editor. This is the part where we start getting into all the new stuff. These are all gene editing things that we can do. All of these. It is ridiculous. Um, there are pre-made stuff. I don't think we're going to be using any of the pre-made stuff. What is a high mate? Designed companions and concubines with unique ability to psychically bond with a mate. High mates are empathetic, beautiful, cheerful, and talented in social matters. They are also inept at manual tasks, physically weak, and mentally incapable of violence. Ew. No. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. We're going to make... Uh, the first one, I guess. I know Rue is super excited for dragon people. So, we're going to do a dragon-esque person first. For Rue. Rue, do you want acid spray or f acid, foam, or fire? Which one which one do you think is most befitting of your 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 dragon? Oh, okay. And just don't give him any. Oh. All the fire? You got it, my guy. Hemogen, uh I don't think. Hmm, piercing spine would kind of make sense for a dragon, maybe. Long jump legs. Carriers have special hemogen-powered muscle fibers in their legs, which allow them to jump great distances. Maybe? Although, you can only do so much of this stuff. Because the more complex your genes get, the more, like, fucked you get. <laughs> like, it causes problems. Um, under health, though, we have... It wouldn't be weak immunity or anything. Maybe strong immunity. Gain immunity to diseases faster than normal. So I'll let you pick Rue. Strong immunity or faster wound healing. Or super clotting. Either one of those are fine. Dragons are... 
the dragon people, I'm going to make them psychically sensitive, I think, honestly. Immunity? Okay, so strong immunity. What are we at right now? Metabolic F. <laughs> you get hungry twice as fast so far. Uh, Things are getting bad. We got to put some negatives in here somewhere. Um, Naked speed. <laughs> We're not going to make you slow. Unhappy, happy, very happy. We'll leave all that stuff fine. Um, temperature stuff we'll leave alone. Sounds like me. I love food. Toxic resistance immunity. Partial anti-toxic lungs. Mild UV sensitivity. Fire resistant would make sense for a dragon. But, like, now you're getting so... Like, you, you can't metabolize so bad that, like, you're probably just gonna die. Um... <laughs> Carriers have dry, thin skin, which burns easily from fire. Oh, yeah. No. Uh, okay. We got to have some negatives. So, could be... Could have weak melee damage. Or... Kill thirst? No. Or aggressive. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Aggressive, you got it. Sleep. Uh, I don't know. Dragons to me are just like really big cats, so they're more sleepy than normal. That takes down our metabolic rate a little bit too. That's good. Pain. Uh, maybe just no pain resistance or anything. Reproduction is going to be normal. Beauty will be normal. Now cosmetics. Cosmetics are free, thankfully. Uh, so for dragon-like people... Uh, red eyes sounds good. Um, what's the most dragon-like ear? Cat, pointed, or human? Well, there's also floppy and pig. <laughs> you could have floppy-eared fucking dragon people. <laughs> that makes no sense. Pointed ears? Okay. Oh. Um... Dragon, a dragon person, I feel like would have a heavy brow, probably some some facial ridges and a roar voice for sure. They would definitely roar. Uh, we're not making unicorn dragons, so mini horns, and probably a hulk body on a dragon person. Roar voice. What color hair would a dragon person have? I guess it's really just like what color dragon do you want to be? At that point, right? Like, for your hair. So, like, you could be red, purple, pink, green, teal, blue, black, uh, brown, or white. And that's going to be your skin tone and hair, probably. White, black, or purple? White, black, or purple? I'm kind of... I mean, purple... I mean, it kind of makes sense for a dragon, huh? Is there purple skin? There is. It's two different shades of purple, though, which is kind of annoying. I mean, we could go with the idea that, like, dragons are ancient birds, <laughs> right? They're, they have colorful hair <laughs> and then just regular body. No, we're going to do purple. Purple, purple. I think purple, purple is good. Yes, we do that. Okay, so purple hair and then, like, what? Some gray skin? Oh, wait. Not purple and gray skin. Gray skin? If there's a different color skin you want, just let me know. But for the dragon people. Noodle, thanks so much for the five bits, love. Appreciate you. Okay, what else? Um, do to do Strong stomach, probably. But that's a, that's a positive that causes issues. They got to be balanced. Red or purple. Okay. Red. Purple hair, red skin. <laughs> oh. There's no, like, scaly option, sadly. It doesn't look like there's any way to have, like, a, a actual lizard person. Like, there's fur options for, for cat people and stuff like that. But, like... And, like, pig people options. But surprisingly, no scale options. Dark vision would make a lot of sense for a dragon, I feel like. Uh, so would the stomach things, though. Okay, we're at we're at negative five. Uh, okay, aptitudes. Could have you be bad with a gun. I feel like a dragon person probably wouldn't be the best at shooting a gun. 
That seems fair. Uh, pff, melee can be normal. Mining, cooking. Awful at planting. Can Are dragon people good with <laughs> planting things? More on strength. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, then we'll make you awful at shooting and make you strong at melee then. Um, oh wait, get rid of the poor shooting. Can you have both? No, okay. More warrior-esque? Yeah. Strong artist, strong crafter. Poor medical skills. Poor social skills. For a dragon person, that sounds that sounds fair. Alcohol dependency? No. <laughs> wake up resistant, smoke leave resistant, wake up impervious. Okay. I think I think that's it. That would totally make sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, if, if there's any like changes for a dragon person any of you can think of, by all means, uh, shout it out. But like, yeah, you prefer to be sober, please. You're fine. I'm not making you an alcoholic or anything like that. There's no way to know for sure what will happen to your character in the game, of course. But I'm not. Uh, I'm not giving you an alcohol dependence. <laughs> no worries there, my guy. All right. Uh, genes are inheritable. Um, so if you have children, they can gain those genes from you. And we're gonna call this dragon. Ah, uh, God, I can't type. Dragon esque dragon. Or just call it dragon. Whatever. Oh, cool. We can pick a, a symbol for it. I mean, that looks more like a cat, but... <coughs> Alright, we're just gonna have the basic one. That's fine. Save and apply. Awesome. So <laughs> there we go, dude. Um, okay, so that's one that we got saved. We can change the people in a second, but... Okay, so we made a dragon. Noodle, I think, was wanting to be a cat person, I think. If I remember correctly, that's the one that they had picked. Um, so, I still don't quite understand the hemogenic thing. Long jump legs. I guess. Hemogenic. Oh. Oh. Called hemogen. The resource can be gained and spent in various ways. Ah. It takes effect after age three. Hemogen minus two per day. How do you get hemogen? I guess you have to drink it. So, yeah, okay. So, we're not going to add any of that stuff. Uh, maybe for the vampire. But uh, cats don't have any of the, the health stuff. Um, they do have psychic bonding. Special neuro organ that makes them psychically bond with a lover for life. That sounds about right for a cat. Uh, they're very fast runners. Oh, very fast running sucks. Okay, fast runner. <laughs> um, they don't have any mood stuff. Those little peeping pies are so freaking good. I agree. Uh, I feel like they'd be cold tolerant. Most cats are. Although they love the heat. Definitely not fire resistant. Haven't ever seen a, a fire resistant cat before. Um, cats can be aggressive or super calm. So like, I don't, I don't. They do have a bit of a kill thirst. <laughs> they will become irritated if they go for too long without killing someone in close combat. That sounds about like every cat I've ever met. Uh, cats are also probably very sleepy, but I'm not trying to have people sleep constantly. So just sleep. Uh. Delicate, robust, probably just normal, normal reproduction. Cats are attractive, though, generally speaking. Cosmetics. Okay, um, cat people. Okay, there are cat ears. That's a thing. Um, only bushy beards. <laughs> yeah, only bushy beards for cat people. That seems about right. And they tend to have long hair, I guess. Sure. Unisex beards. All of them. <laughs> Male and female cats have beards, obviously. Uh, Flop ears, mini horns. No, human head bone, facial ridges. Pig voice, human voice, roar voice. 
Uh, standard body, probably. What color cat do you want to be, Noodle? Do you have a uh, a preference for that? For for hair color or skin color? Cats are slow studies. Don't understand new ideas quickly. They're slow at learning new skills and knowledge. Global learning fa factor halved. <laughs> halved. <laughs> you don't know your options? They are white, gray, blonde, sandy blonde, orange, reddish brown, brown, dark brown, dark reddish hair, mid black hair, dark black hair, ink black hair, blue, teal, green, pink, purple, red for the hair. They're on the screen. I know you're on your phone. It might be hard to see, but they're on the screen. Uh, for skin color, you have green, yellow, yellow, orange, deep red, pale red, purple, blue, white, gray, slate gray, ink black. So whatever, whatever color cat you want to be. Cats definitely have dark vision. Um, they are nearsighted, fun fact. Uh, they have fur skin? Yes. Yes, they do. Oh, that's considered a positive? That's considered a positive. Or no, that's considered a negative? I don't know. Whatever. Black hair and black skin. You got it. Um, smooth tail. Again, that's considered like a, a positive thing. Oh, because it gives positive to manipulation. Oh. Okay. What are trotter hands? Carriers of the genes have hands that partially resemble pig trotters. Oh. Elongated fingers. Hmm. I think that's going to be it for that. Aptitudes. Uh, cats. Mm, construction skills. Mining skills. Cooking skills. Planting skills. Like none of that. They're not really good with other animals either <laughs> but I mean they are animal s themselves though we'll say they're they're strong with animals I guess they're good with social kind of they're not very social with other cats generally but with people they do okay and they're poor intellectuals <laughs> drugs we're not going to do any drugs for them there I think that's good I can see in the dark? Yes. Yes, you can. <laughs> you have dark vision, love. All right. This is going to be our cat people. Cats say uh, make them inheritable. Excellent. Katie and Charlotte are not having a good time. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's a cat person. We need a dwarf. A dwarvish type person. Um, dwarves have to have strong immunity. They just have to. And probably super clotting. Um, they should also be, like, psychically deaf, I feel like. They should have, like, no psychic powers. Uh, they're a little bit of a slow runner, maybe? Move speed minus 0.2? Yeah, I think that makes sense for a dwarf. Anyone feel free to tell me if I'm being dumb. Uh, I do feel like they're generally happy people, though. Um... They probably are both cold and heat tolerant, I feel like. Dwarves are. Uh, mildly UV sensitive. <laughs> Sunlight sensitivity. Carriers of this gene have biological compounds in their skin that react painfully to UV radiation. They're unusually sensitive to sunlight. Hmm. Maybe, but... Uh, I feel like that's a little bit... I don't know how bad that ends up being, though. Because, I mean, they are, like, underground people, you know? Huh. Strong melee damage, yes. Very good at melee. I'm going to turn off the UV sensitivity. The The vampire person's going to have that anyway, so... Um, normal, normal sleep, I think, for dwarves. They're very robust people. For sure. Uh, I mean, I don't personally consider dwarves unattractive, but that's kind of like the meme for it, right? That other races other than them tend to find them unattractive. Uh, they have long hair, bushy beards, unisex beards, human ears, 
human noses, uh, heavy jaw, uh, gaunt head, a pinched face, no, probably a heavy brow, yes. Um, human voice, roar voice, just regular human voice. And they're going to have Hulk bodies. Hair color can be whatever, I guess, for a dwarf. Probably, like, I I guess maybe like a, a like a grayish color would be pretty common, or a brown would be pretty common for them. So I guess we'll just pick one of those, and the game can do whatever the hell they want. Gray skin sounds about right, too. Uh, they have strong stomachs, for sure. They also have dark vision from working underground all the time. Uh, slow studies. Seems about right. Elongated fingers. Now, that doesn't actually sound right, but the benefit is right. Because that helps with, like, crafting and stuff like that. Carries the sheet and not slow down when taking damage. Mm. Okay, they're going to be awful at shooting guns, but strong melee users. And strong construction people. And great at mining. We're getting, we got to get some negatives here. What else do they do poorly? <laughs> they don't plant things. Dwarves, that sounds right. Uh, I don't think they really do much with animals. We'll say poor animals. They got to be great crafters too though, man. But they don't do art? I mean, that seems like a decent trade-off. Or, mm, hmm. And their social skills are meh. I think so. You always think the Lord of the Ring dwarves, so you always think red hair. Did they mostly have red hair in Lord of the Rings? Am I am I forgetting something? I'll put red as an option and reddish brown. I don't know what's gonna happen when we have like sixteen different hair colors picked. I don't know if it's just gonna like go randomly or what, but and they're also uh alcohol impervious. <laughs> Never get addicted to alcohol and cannot build a tolerance. Definitely. Um Wake up resistant, dependency. Okay. So they're too good. We need to We need to take them down a notch. <clears throat> They got to have the great mining. Strong construction makes sense, but I don't think they have to have it. We'll take that off. We can take the great crafting maybe to just strong crafting. Is there anything else? Slow study. I kind of don't want it to be on there, but we need some negatives. Strong stomach also makes sense. These ones are free. Unattractive. That's giving us things. Robust. Yeah, these guys, they're pretty... <laughs> They're, they're pretty decked out in the gene modding scene there. I guess they don't need super clotting. I guess we could do that. Okay. So these are our dwarves. Dwarves. Save and apply. Awesome. Um, What other type? Elves. We got elves, of course. Uh, okay. Dwarves, super fast wound healing, and super immune. Um, probably super size sensitive, but that's also considered a good thing. So we we may have to come back and change some of this stuff. Fast runners. Um, I don't think they're resistant to any sort of temperature stuff. That doesn't make sense to me. The big dude from Hoblet, Gimli, and What's-His-Face in Rings of Power. Did they all have red hair, really? Huh. I don't know. My, I mean, everyone knows how <laughs> bad my memory is, but, like... Carriers of this gene feel calm in every situation. have a very placid demeanor. They never start social fights or have aggressive mental breaks. That sounds like an elf. That's also considered a positive, so... <laughs> fuck. <laughs> ah... Uh, elves never sleep. I don't care what anyone says. Are they delicate? They're not delicate. My libido, very unattractive. No, I mean, if anything, they're supposed to be very attractive people. Look. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess the hunger rate caps at 225%. So, I mean, like... 
<laughs> we could just go for it anyways. But that means elves are going to be super OP. The elves are going to fucking die. <laughs> we need to... We're, we're going to need to do something to help balance the elves out. But, like, just thinking of elves, man, what are their negative traits? They don't really have any negative traits in, in classical fiction, you know? Like, they just... They are the OP race. They have pointed ears. Uh, any sort of hair is fine. But I feel like more of them are long-haired. So we are going to do long-haired. They tend to be beardless, I think, too. A bit snobbish. That's true. That's true. Maybe socially. Where was the social thing at? Was that down here? Yes. Poor, poor social. Um, Not poor with animals. Oh, God. They also like great artists and stuff. Okay. Poor social. Not awful, but poor. And if you do vampires, they're basically the same. They just kill. Yeah, <laughs> this is very true. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> so our vampires and our uh, elves are going to be OPAF. Um, oh, well, I guess. That's fine. Okay, where were we? Where were we? We were down here. Uh, they probably... They definitely have human voices. Everything else is whatever, I guess. And they're always portrayed as having either thin or standard bodies. Hair color, generally like blondish or white or gray. And then skin, uh, any of the like white to, to black is fine. Strong stomachs? No. You know what? Is there like a gets gets food poisoning more easily? Because <laughs> that makes sense for them, I feel like. You know, super snobby, only eat uh, the foods that they cook. Otherwise, they'll get super sick sort of thing or something. But not, not an option, it seems like. <coughs> Excuse me? Uh... I'm not going to make them a quick study. They're already too powerful. They don't need that. All right. Do they also suck? No, because that also includes bows. I was going to say we could have them be awful shooters, but they use bows, and they're good at that. You know, mm, Nope. They're also warriors with, with fucking swords and stuff. They're strong constructors, but I'm not going to give it to them. You know what? They suck at mining things. <laughs> um, their cooking's going to be average because they're already too strong. Elves are great with plants, though. Animals are going to be nothing. They have to be strong crafters. I'm not going to give them the great one, but they got to be strong. And good artists. Dude, I did not think about this before I came into it. Elves really are just the, the OP fucking race. Like, OP as shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Um... Other than, like Rue said, them being a bit snobbish, I literally can't think of a negative for elves, like a, a, a downside. Thank you so much for following, man. Uh, Egalriel7? I, I, <laughs> I can't. I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. But thank you for the follow, my guy. Oh, man. Yeah, I really I can't think of a negative to give them. That's terrible. We're gonna we're gonna save it as is, but we might we might come back to it if we think of something to <laughs> to make them not so OP. Save and apply. Save anyways. Yep. <laughs> the negative normal limit or the normal limit is negative five. Negative twenty eight for the for the elves. That's fine. That's fine. They're just they're just ridiculous. Now, do we want to have a vampire off the bat, or do we want to have something else? Is there another like? race type that we could that we could have off the rip because we did we did a, a cat type person a dragon type person a dwarf type person a uh, uh a werewolf is werewolf an option could we do that we might be able to do that okay hold on so they could be hemogenic with the long jump legs so they they consume people and therefore blood Kind of like vampires, and one of the abilities they get is to long jump. 
but they're not specifically blood feed feeders. Um, can rapidly tend wounds. That sounds nice for them. I also imagine werewolves would have strong immunity and fast wound healing and probably super clotting. Although, do we need coagulate and super clotting? Probably not. Let's get rid of that one. Um, would werewolves be psychically dull or sensitive? Probably not. Probably just regular. They have to be fast runners at least. Um, all that fur, I imagine they'd be cold tolerant. Tox immunity, UV sensitivity, fire resistant, no. Though they uh, do tend to be aggressive, at least when they're in, you know, werewolf form. Hyper aggressive, would that be annoying? Social fight chance factor times 300. Mental breaks are always violent. <laughs> okay. I think we'll go with regular aggressive. Excuse me again. Ah, okay. I'm dying over here. Um, werewolves, would they sleep more? I feel like they're pretty regular on that front. They have to be robust with reduced pain. This is going to be another one that's just OP, dude. Do we just make everyone OP? We might just go back and make everyone OP. Just say screw it. All the reproduction stuff is the same. Again, I feel like... Well, no. I was going to say, I feel like... Classic trope-wise, werewolves tend to be a little less attractive. But then, you know, you have Twilight, which terrible example. But a lot of people, obviously, were really into those werewolves. And then, um... Oh, what's that? Those other vampire movies that were popular in, like, the 2000s? Ah, I can't remember the name of them. But I feel like they were, they were tended to be pretty attractive, too. So, never mind. Um... Beard-wise, no... Well, I mean, if they're werewolves, then they need to be a cross of, like, a human or a human and a wolf, right? Give them floppy ears. Give them dog ears. <laughs> they're floppy, floppy-eared wolves. Nah, I feel like uh, the closest thing would probably be cat ears for a werewolf. Maybe with a heavy jaw. And a roar voice? Why not? Animal-like roaring sounds? Yeah. Probably hulk bodies or standard. Hair-wise? I mean, if they're a human that turns into a wolf, they could have any damn color hair they want, really, huh? Skin color? Any of the white to black? I mean, they're running around eating people and stuff. They gotta have a strong stomach. Do, do wolves have dark vision? I guess so. They're predators, huh? Screw it. Give him fur skin, too. And a furry tail. <laughs> and they should be unstoppable. When they take damage, they just keep going until they're dead. But they're a slow study. They don't learn very quickly. Although dogs can learn things pretty easily. I don't know. I'm going to leave it on. Melee has got to be strong. Mining and stuff. Probably nothing. Uh, I can't imagine too many werewolf gardeners. <laughs> just don't see that being a thing. Or werewolf artists. Maybe just poor instead of awful. Same with, like, werewolf doctors. Don't see that really being a thing. And drugs are fine. Okay, so I've basically just succumbed to the fact that everyone's going to be OP. So we're going to go back to the other ones and if uh, and we'll we'll make them more OP if we want. Werewolves. Save and apply. Confirm. Okay, you. Uh, is there a way to edit your xenotype that you already have? No, but we can load the pre-made... Or not pre-made. Custom. It was... <laughs> the shitty dragons. That was my test run. That's what I called them. Okay, so fire spew. Strong immunity is fine. Psychically sensitive. I still think makes sense for, for a dragon person. Um, dragons probably would be fast, though. Everyone's going to be so hungry all the time because of this. Heat super tolerant and fire resistant. Yes, yes, yes. Slightly aggressive and sleepy. That's fine. Robust with reduced pain. Incoming damage multiplier. Pain times 50%. That's fine. 
Uh, we'll leave all of that stuff the same, of course. Strong stomachs, dark vision. Since we're making everyone else OP, take that down. Instead of strong melee, great melee. Poor social skills. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Man, I was hardly coughing today until I started talking constantly. Okay. Save and apply. Um, confirm. There we go. And then you were the cat person. Load custom. Cats. Okay. Cats, cats, cats. Fast runners. Cold tolerant. Is there anything else we want to add to cats? Foam spray. No. <laughs> Not really. Sleepy? Yes. They have to be sleepy. Delicate? No. We'll make them... Mm -hmm. Just regular. Well, I mean, people are obsessed with cat people. <laughs> Very attractive. Why not? Black skin, nearsighted, smooth tail, all that stuff. Strong with animals. We'll get rid of the poor intellectual. That was kind of memey, anyways. And again, strong melee. I mean, they got claws, dude. They should be. They should be good with that. I guess cats aren't going to be that OP, but. That makes them a little bit better. What negatives do we have? Psychic bonding. That makes sense. That's a positive. Sleepy. I mean, come on. They're cat people. Very attractive is a positive. Oh, we made them nearsighted. I mean, they are nearsighted, but we'll get rid of that in the slow study. Because screw it. I've succumbed to the fact that none of this is going to be particularly fair. And then the... Dwarves. Last one, and then we're gonna finally at least spawn our world for the night. Um strong immunity is still fine. Psychically deaf is fine. We'll get rid of slow runners, although I do kind of like that idea. I feel like they're generally happy people and tolerant to temperatures. Strong melee damage, yes. Robust people, yes. Not necessarily reduce pain in this case, I feel like, but robust. We'll get rid of the unattractive, because whatever. And maybe the slow study. I don't feel like that's really fair. Dark vision. And we'll put awful shooting down to poor. Great miners. Poor plants. Poor with animals. I mean, honestly, the artistic thing I just had on there because we had to even it out. Because while they may not specifically, like, try to be super artistic, if you look at, again, like, Lord of the Rings as a reference, like, there a lot of the things they made were super pretty. Like, even if they weren't trying to be pretty with it, they still made a lot of pretty shit. So, I'm going to turn off the awful artistic thing for them, too. I'll leave the poor social thing. They, they leave a bad impression. And alcohol impervious. Yeah, I mean, they're dwarves. They gotta be. Confirm. Okay, there we go. Now we can actually get our people real quick. So the first one is going to be Rue. Um, the only thing I don't want is someone that's incapable of something. And with any, like, health conditions. Otherwise, I'm basically gonna leave it at whatever the hell it is. And this is Rue. And then Noodle wanted to be the cat person. Oh, do you have any, like, really bad traits? Psychically deaf. Wait, you're a dragon person. You're psychically sensitive. And then you're psychically deaf. That makes no sense, but whatever, you're a weird dragon. <laughs> and the other one's ascetic, which I don't think is a bad thing at all. Rest forsaken physical comforts and enjoys... Oh, no, that's annoying. Psychopath, misogynist, beautiful. Wow. Undergrounder, kind, great memory. I don't want undergrounder either. Incapable of fighting. No. Traits, tough and industrious. There we go. That seems fine. Okay. And then noodle now. Um. Uh, body modder, greedy. No, 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 no. Nervous, night owl, kind. And you're pregnant. The Honestly? All kind of makes sense. Okay, this is Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle. Uh, Nate is either not here or fell asleep or something. 
but I imagine he would probably want the dwarf. Maybe I'm being unfair because I call him a dwarf all the time. But like, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna make him the dwarf. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he won't mind. It's fine. Careful shooter, abrasive, no. Jogger, incapable of carrying is a no-go for me. Misogynist recluse. <laughs> uh, really dislikes and distrusts women. I don't like... We're supremacists on this playthrough. We're not <laughs> misogynists. Nudist? That's too smart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <coughs> oh, God. And, and a lover to Mr. Noodle. Are you going to kill him again? <laughs> How many times are you going to kill Nate, Noodle? I see it happening. I see it happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was so shocked he almost died. Alright, there we go. Oh wait, you don't have anything. Too smart is kind of annoying, actually. Hold on. I'm gonna I I want something decent. Chemical fascination. No health conditions. That one makes sense. Um because dwarves and their alcohol problems. So yes, so that's Nate A. Uh, who was this? This was the elf. Who's going to be the elf, dude? Out of our people. Chocobo, Optijack. What were you? Werewolf. And the Dorseman. None of them are here, but I mean, they're here often enough. I feel like we should give them a, a spot. So which one do we want to be which? Chocobo for the elf, and then what, Optijack or uh, the Dorseman for the werewolf. So you'll be, well, we should probably randomize you first. Body modder, fisherman, misogynist, not doing misogynist. Chemical interest and greedy. Greedy is annoying. God, there's so many traits. Incapable of, no, stop it. Fisherman brawler. I'm fine with that. The old wound is annoying, but not the end of the world. So you're going to be Chocobo? Who's the werewolf, guys? Are we doing are we doing Optijack or the Dorseman for the werewolf? Uh body modder psychically deaf? It's not terrible. Optijack? I'm fine with that. Jogger Night Owl. That's a very <laughs> that's a very interesting looking werewolf. <laughs> oh god. Um Strong Melee. What are we missing? We suck at construction and cooking and medicine and intellectual. We just suck at all of that. Man, I really wish I had the prepare carefully mod. Um, I guess it's going to be what it's going to be, though. Man, we don't even have anyone with passion for any of that stuff. That's annoying. Our cooking situation is going to be rough for a while. Optijack. All right. Optijack gives Garth from Supernatural Werewolf vibes. Yeah, dude. Man, I kind of want to watch Supernatural. Like, this, th that thought comes across my mind every once in a while. That I want to re-watch Supernatural. And then I remember that it's fucking 60 seasons long. And I'm like, holy shit. I don't know if I have the time to do that. Like, that's just that's just too much, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, I don't know. All right, what animals did we get? We got Cagney the Yak as one of our animals. Very cool. We got Vlad the Male Cobra. And Felicia. Felicia? I don't know how to pronounce it. But uh, the cat, we got a we got a kitty, which I mean makes sense. I'm fine with that. Um, and they're four years, twenty days old. Four twenty, bro. Let's go. Nine days, twenty, or nine years, twenty. Three and forty two. That's an old snake. I don't know how how long snakes usually live, but nine years, twenty days seems like a long time. Uh, so if you watch the first one, whenever we were playing the roulettes, you'll you'll notice that. The, uh, oh shit, we're, it still says we're just chatting. I forgot to change this to Rimworld. Ah! I'm so bad at this, I apologize. Okay, 
There we go. We're playing Worm World. We started... I mean, technically, we just now started actually playing it. So, yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> anyways, what were we doing? I completely forget. Felicia plaintively snuggled up to Mr. Noodle. Oh, how sweet. Okay, who's our best shooter out of the group? We have shooting none. Noodle has five. Nate has none. Chocobo has five. Optijack has eight. So Optijack can have the short bow. Uh, Nate or Noodle? I guess. Noodle, you're better with animals. So you can have the other bow because you'll be a hunter slash animal caretaker, I guess. Um, go pick that stuff up real quick. So I can remember who has what. Chocobo has a melee of 11, so we probably want to give you the best. Oh, no, Rue has a 12. Okay, so Rue, you can have the... I don't actually know what's the best weapon, but you can have the wooden club. And then Chocobo... What is this? Oh, there's a knife here, too. Maybe Chocobo can have the knife, then? And then Nate, with your with your lowly level 5, you can have the Iqwa or whatever the hell. However the hell you pronounce that. Oh, I forgot what I was saying. Anyways, to, to anyone who was watching last time, you'll remember that the, the UI looked a lot different. <laughs> there was just a lot more things here. Because we um, got rid of a lot of the mods that we had, it's a lot simpler this time. There's still a lot to the game, don't get me wrong. But there's not nearly as much as there was before. This section is a little bit smaller than it was before. Um, but yeah, overall it should look similar. But less. Which honestly is probably a good thing. Because yeah, there was a lot to try to take in in the last one. It is 140. I think we'll go ahead and get the very basic setup. Like somewhere to store things. Um... And then we'll probably, like, a sleep spot somewhere to store things, and then we'll probably call it for the night. Uh, okay. Zone. Where do we want to have our base at? Usually, you want it to be somewhat centered. Uh, we're not expecting too many raids, so it's not the end of the world if it's not. But being centered still is nice because you can, uh, like, whenever you have to go out and get things from somewhere in the map, if you're in the center, then, you know, it's pretty relatively short distance to go anywhere whereas like if you're all the way on the left and have to come all the way to the right or something like that it can take a while or god forbid you're in one of the corners and have to go to the other corner that would really suck so probably just right here we have some natural defenses in the way of this wall of stone up here and do we have any like fertile ground i think there's a way to see that uh i mean kind of Most of our fertility is to the south. So we might not be making much use of fertile land. Yeah, I think... Hmm. We're going to have to probably put our stockpiles up here, though. Because I don't know if we'll be able to build on this, uh, on this stuff here. I guess we can just check that real quick. Uh, structure, wall. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we can build there. We just had to build a bridge first, which is annoying. I think we will just put our, our storage up there, but then you have all that stuff we're mining there, too. Maybe we just start in the open and then just, like, wall ourselves off afterwards or something. It's not a terrible idea. So we can always, like, do something else up here later, like some, uh, I don't know power generation or something so yeah screw it we're just gonna go down here for now we're just gonna have a random stockpile zone maybe here where we can't really grow stuff all that much uh 11 by 11 i think is the right size dumping stockpile zone we want that relatively close to the base you know what for now just put it right here right next to it. That's fine. Go ahead and get all that shit going. While you do that, let's get this stuff sorted. 
Firefighting, level one. Patienting, number two. Uh, doctor, we gotta figure that out still. Bed rest, level two. Oh wait, patienting. Oh, if you have an immediate life-threatening health condition, go right away. <laughs> uh, bed rest can be level two. Capturing people, that can be a level three, unless we like, honestly, like that can be, well, it shouldn't come up too often. Two's fine. Hall plus, if I tell you to haul something, like right now, just do it. Child care. Except for the people that can't do it, really. We'll have that set to a very high level. Everyone else, I guess, can just be like, you know, so we can still at least tell them to do it. Uh, flipping switches and stuff, if I if tell you to do it, do it. Finishing things off. Again, if I tell someone to do it, I just want someone to do it. Uh, you like wardening. So we're going to do that for you. And you like... War er, handling. And do we have a cook at all? You suck at cooking, Nate, but at least you like it. Okay, we do have a couple people that like hunting. That's good. We only have one person that likes constructing. Oh my god, this is going to be rough. Couple good growers. Really good miner in the way of Nate. Plant cutting. Lots of good crafters and artists, though. Uh, hauling. I'm going to set to a base level 5, I think. Or 4, I guess. Same with cleaning. Research. Again, no one likes to research. If managing needs done, get it done. Fishing. You... I can't remember with the way I have this fishing set up, if they'll just do it forever. <laughs> if I have it set, or if they'll only do it sometimes. Do we have water? We do. Good, good, good. So we may end up having to change the fishing thing to like a lower priority, but for now it can be that. Okay, so what are we missing? Right now we have no doctor at all. That's not good. Who's the best one? Mr. Noodle is, which is currently doing basically nothing. The hunting and animal handling and taking care of babies. So, yes, so you can be the doctor. And then same thing as before. Everyone else can be a level nine. So if I need someone to do it, I can tell them to. Uh, wardening, Optijack, you are basically just a hunter and the, the manager. Okay. So yeah, so you can warden and handle. That's fine. Um, do we want your hunting to come before that stuff, though? Probably. 5-5. Five, five. Our animal handler, we have a couple. Cook. It's gonna have to be you, Nate. <laughs> Nobody else likes doing it, so it's gotta be my guy. Uh, what else do you do, though, Nate? You're also our only constructor. That's annoying. Oh. Ooh. And our construction already sucks so bad. I hate having someone that doesn't like constructing do it. But, wait a second. It didn't take your name, Rue. Hold on. This is Rue, not Goda. Who the hell is Goda? Social, not a sign role. Uh, how do I change your name? I know it's possible. Hold on. <laughs> it's under social gear bio. There it is. Nickname. Rue. That's Rue, not Goda. Who the hell is Goda? I was confused. Okay. You like growing, so you can do that. And plant cutting. That's fine. We have another grower, though, in the way of Chocobo. <clears throat> So I'm also going to assign you to construction duty. Even though you don't particularly like doing it, at least you can help out. Mining shouldn't come up too often, so I'm fine with just Nate doing it. Plant cutting. Honestly, if I say for something to be cut, just cut it soon. Nate likes smithing and tailoring. Although these things here, I think I'm going to turn them all down to a five because they're not like necessary. But if you like doing it, then 
Sure, do it. Uh, hauling and cleaning, researching. Oh, that is something that Rue does better than everyone else, though. Again, we don't have anyone that likes doing it. Again. But we do want to get some research done. So right now, you'll construct and grow and plant cut. And then you'll research. That's a lot for one guy to do. Um... So I guess we'll turn your construction to a five. Let Nate get first pick. And then you can pick up from there if you're done with your growing and planting duties. I guess. Ah, uh, man, I don't know. Fishing on eight for everyone else. Um, managing on seven for everyone else. I guess it can be eight as well, because it'll do it in, in order. And then researching on eight for everyone else. Oh, and crafting nine. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Let's get some uh, people some places to sleep. For the people that do sleep, at least, that is. And some basic walls and stuff up. We should probably get that real quick, too. Because, like, for instance, our uh, stockpile here. We don't want it to get fucked so uh cancel cancel because there's already walls there and then we need structure a door um sure we'll get a few doors in the dumping stockpile can be left outside that's fine i don't care and then i think to start with we're gonna have barracks for people to sleep in just one big room and then we can always give people individual bedrooms or whatever later uh, furniture we'll give you actual beds to start with oh wait we don't have oh we literally don't have the ability to build beds see why we <laughs> this is oh shit <laughs> oh this is why we need uh, to get some research done, man. Okay, so I guess everyone is just sleeping on the ground. Uh, where's the door at? Here? I think we're fine to put all five there. All right, what else do we need, like, soon? We need a butcher's table. I'm going to put it outside, though. Um... Blocked by poplar tree? Then just cut the damn tree down. Oh my god, whatever. It can go... Ah, these stupid trees! <laughs> it can go there. Whatever. A fueled stove. That can go indoors. A uh, simple research bench. Apparently, we're going to have to get that up. And the manager's desk. Oh, you know what? I'm going to want a... Table. So, I'll put it up there. Um, Two by four? That's way too big. One by two? Yeah, one by two looks good. And then... Do we have chairs? We have stools. <laughs> Dude, we know how to do nothing right now. Alright, stools it is. Uh, a torch lamp, I suppose. Uh, we don't need one in the storage room. That's fine. Anything else that I'm missing for, like, starting? Oh, yeah. We need some recreation and some food. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, we need to grow food. That's important. I don't know where I want this at. Um, Are we going to build that way or build down this way? Noodle with the five bitch here. Thank you so much, love. Appreciate you. I think we'll do crops and things to the north and maybe expand to the south. Like, for our rooms and things? Oh, well, I guess it's going there. I didn't mean to click it there, but whatever. That's super easy to move. Temperature, we have basically nothing. Although, a nice campfire, I believe, is in order. Uh, I at least want it to be centered. Build copy here and cancel that. Rue is sleeping. Mr. Nudor is sleeping. I mean, they're they're they're... They're sleepy people. You never sleep though, right? Is what we have you to. Feeling content. Mood. Health. 
Wait, so do you just not have a sleeping stat? Yeah, you don't. Holy shit. Okay. Wow. Oh, that's right. Uh, da 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 da. Food. We need food. Okay. Cut trees. Holy shit. There's too many. Uh, harvest is nope. Harvest fully grown. There we go. Cut down. Cut down some fully grown trees in the area at least. And then just cut all plants inside here and here. And for Christ's sakes, get rid of <laughs> that urgently. And then... Quarters. Let's just haul all of the crap inside of here out of the way, though. <laughs> As much as I like this game, you feel like there's too much going on, and then I forget what I'm doing. I remember what I'm doing. I haven't forgotten anything, ever. <laughs> All right. Uh, da -da -da -da. How much food do we need? It's, uh, I forget. There is, like, a number for how much you should grow per colonist. And since a lot of our people need to eat twice as much as normal, we're going to need to grow a lot. Um, hmm. Okay, let's get a large field. I'll keep with the 13 by 13 sort of thing, but leaving a walkway. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to close that. So that's all going to be rice, I think, because rice grows quickly. Um, hmm. Strawberry, we can eat raw, which is nice. I mean, technically you can eat anything raw, but they don't usually like it. Let's get some more going, though. And then... Okay, normally we leave a gap of three. One, two, three. And then... 13 by 13. How do you divide 13 by 13? So it'd be one of six... Oh, we could do six and six and then, like, a walking space, I guess. Yeah. Six. Yeah, six by six. Okay. That works. We will do some potatoes. Um, We'll do some strawberries. Some corn. <laughs> and then can we grow cotton we can maybe some cotton it's probably too much cotton oh you know what we still need hay grass too for our animals ah because the cats need actual like meat that's annoying okay uh cotton i mean i guess we could just feed them meat but kibble would go farther so maybe we do need to like split this one here up a little bit. So shrink it by seven. And then, <laughs> excuse me, I'm gonna have to stop soon. My throat's starting to get to me. Okay, four, this one I guess we won't leave the gap in. Or maybe we will, no we won't. So four by seven, we'll just have a little bit of hay going. Just a little something, something. And then the same with, uh, what was the other one? Heel root. Which we might not be able to grow. Do we have a good grower? I don't remember. Four by seven. Now we really probably won't need that much heel root. Shrink. This one can be heel root. Is there anything else that would just be nice to have? We could do psychoid to make, like, tea later on. I mean, hops are fine, too, for beer. Our dwarf is going to want ale. I think more than anyone's going to want tea, our dwarf's going to want ale. Once we learn how to make it. Poor guy. <laughs> Loves ale so much that it doesn't even affect him anymore. But he never learned to make it. It's rough. It's rough. 
All right, I'm just gonna wait until all of the uh, the buildings is done, and then we're gonna call it for the night. Uh, our little colony's going well, though. Hey, there's our manager bench. We'll uh, set up our rules for that later. Nate's doing a pretty good job with the construction, though. I was worried that he'd be too busy with other stuff to, to get the construction done, but no, he's doing he's doing good. And there's our butcher. All right, we're gonna add a um make kibble. We will keep around roughly a hundred and fifty. Hundred and fifty sounds like about the right amount. And butcher creatures. If there's a creature to butcher, just do it. Just forever. Okay, what are we waiting on still? We need our stove and our research bench, and that's it. Oh, wait, don't we have one or two people? Oh, Chocobo is idle? Okay. Why are you idle? Aren't you set to do everything? You are. <laughs> Construct something. like You probably need a minimum skill level. Okay, well, in that case, what we want to do is set up some fishing for people real quick zone fishing zone honestly these waters look a little too <laughs> a little too thin to really to really fish in but i guess that works uh so from this one small fish because come on this one no more than medium fish out of that water there this one over here though this doesn't really matter, by the way. They'll just do whatever, but I don't know. I kind of like the the idea of it. Um, this fishing spot here, people will try and catch large fish. There we go. So now, hopefully, Chocobo won't be... Everyone is starving. Wait a second. Did we really go through all of our food already? Like, actually? Oh my god, dude. I knew our people got hungry quick, but holy shit. Um, okay. <laughs> this might end up being a little bit harder than I thought. <laughs> is there anything we can hunt? Yes, there is. Good. Hunt some deer. Quickly. Who's our hunter? Rue. Wait, is Rue our hunter? Wait. What happened? How did you guys get hurt? What is going on? Oh no, you're meleeing! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> ah! Okay, shit. So I guess that's one problem with having everyone sent to set to hunt. Um, yeah, you guys should never hunt. <laughs> Optijack and Mr. Noodle. Does Optijack have a uh, no? Yes, Optijack and Mr. Noodle. They both have the bows. <laughs> They can, <laughs> they can do the hunting. <laughs> Nobody else needs to do hunting. Holy fuck! You're gonna be fine though. Health tab. Yeah, you just got a couple bruises and a bite. How's Nate doing? Same thing. A couple bruises, a crack on his uh right clavicle. <laughs> like, did you kill Rue? No, Rue's not dead. Rue is fine. Oh, we got a trader. Who's good at trading? I keep saying I'm going to get off, and then I just can't. Who's our... I believe Warden is the same same skill. So it's Optijack is our best Warden. Are you busy? You're fishing. Uh, I mean, we do need food, but honestly, if we could trade for something... I doubt we can this early, but if we could, that'd be really nice. Um... Oh, you have pemmican. Let's buy some pemmican and the herbal medicine, and I'll sell you a peel up. <laughs> Except, let's go. Who's the cook, too? The cook is Nate, who's injured. You're not injured that bad, though, right? Like, yeah, you're, you're fine, dude. You're malnourished. Like, start butchering. Okay. Oh, we don't have any steel. We didn't spawn with steel? 
Ah, dude. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. The start of this has been much uh, more difficult than I expected. Mine out, mine out some steel, my guy. Nate, I think you're the miner, too, because you're the dwarf. Oh, look at him go. Mine. Okay. Now you should have enough to make the stove. Wait, nope. Make the stove now, not after you rest. You're gonna be fine. I'm going to turn down the priority on bed rest to a five. You failed. Why did you fail? <laughs> I need you to not do that, my guy. You're fine. Why are you still resting? Go. Look how much faster he mines than Rue. Isn't that crazy? Missing 65 steel? Really? Did you waste all of the steel? Ah! Optijack failed the other one! And we have a mad hair. Everything's going poorly. Okay, we need to set everyone to... <laughs> To fight. Um, if you get into a rough spot, don't run away. Fight. Where do I set that at? I forget. Medical manager work. Under the work tab. Mood. This is going shit. This is going excellent. <laughs> don't you say that. <laughs> Assign. There it is. Uh, attack. There you go. If you come across that that rude hair, fight. If you lose a fight to a hair, I'm I swear to God, like it's a bunny rabbit. We got a gift. I don't know what that is, but fine, whatever. There's an ancient mech. Mr. Noodle is pregnant. We know that. There's a pen is needed. Ah. <laughs> It's now past midnight here, so you're doing well. Thanks, man. <laughs> nah, I, like I said, I am feeling much better. I just know my voice is starting to to break on me. Okay, we don't have any refrigeration. Pemmican lasts basically forever. So we're going to have Pemmican on here first, even if we're not big fans of it. <coughs> and we'll do... Uh, 10 per colonist? No, because we need to eat a lot of food. So let's do like 25 per colonist. And then, because you can't make all meat pemmican, we'll do simple meals. Uh, 5 per colonist. Try to keep around. Nate, I'm sure you need to do that, but cook some damn food. <laughs> Please, please, my guy. All right. We're low on food. Someone's starving. Chocobo starving. You can eat some food. There's there's food to be eaten now. We're going to have to get our food stuff going quick, dude. And we're going to have to do a lot of hunting. A lot of hunting. All right. One more thing that we need to do, and then we're actually done. We are going to construct a pen for our animals. Um, I don't want them eating my crops. I was going to say we can just have them wherever. So 13, 26, but we usually leave a gap of 3, so 29. Oh, wait, this needs to go over one more. Oh God, and this one needs to come in one. I suck at everything. Okay, we'll fix that one. But this one needs to come over one more. That can go there. And then, yeah, to there. To there. To there. Uh, zone. Orders, rather. Cancel. Cancel that. And then just to get the pen started... We'll build, like, this little tiny thing here first. Where is the pen marker? Is that under miscellaneous? Yeah. 
Oh, and a pen isn't considered complete unless you have a fence gate. So we'll get that there too. Do I have the allow tool? I do. Don't build that section yet. We just have that like saved for later use. All right. So the only thing we're missing now is the research bench and the pen for our animals. We're we're doing well. Everything's everything's going grand. Okay, that was too big. There we go. <clears throat> the white penguin calm. No. Uh <laughs> Where do gods live? Olympia? <laughs> we're not we're not on a mountain, but Mount Olympia? Uh the settlement a name and then the faction names a name. God Godfolk? And God Godhood. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I'm sure there's a way to f change that too, but I'm terrible at naming things. Done. Nate is going ham over there. Starving. Optijack is starving. Are we out of food again? We have fish and that's it. Holy crap, dude. Uh, I mean, I guess basically we are feeding... 11 people even though we only have five because of how much they eat we're actually feeding 11 uh okay one more thing i'll leave the gap of three like we've been doing We need more more just food just regular food rice is very busy to make but it's quick so we're just gonna put all of that as rice for now and we might change that later to be something else but oh my god and mr noodles already on their second trimester bruh <laughs> bruh no <laughs> that's <laughs> we're so fucked um I don't even... Oh, no. Which bed's noodles? That one? So the crib can go there. Well, anyways. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit tonight. I do appreciate it as always. Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I think it'll be okay, honestly. We just got to get a steady supply of food. A lot of food. And then we'll be fine. So... I don't know. I guess we'll see. Uh, to, today is Friday. I'm off tomorrow. Sunday, we'll be back with some PS2 gauntlet goodness. Next Friday, we'll probably be playing Civilization, most likely. Um, that's to be determined. But uh, OptiJack did tell me he should be available. So that shouldn't be a problem. And uh, what else? Oh, the podcast. Excuse me. <coughs> Tuesday, we should be doing the podcast, of course. Uh, Jonathan and I were talking about doing something a little bit different. Nothing crazy, just uh, adding a little bit of structure to the show, basically. A little bit more structure to the show. So, if we have time to, to work on that, then that's something that we'll be doing. Um... Do I have to draft you? Okay, yeah. So, right be quick before we go. Uh, I did save already. I just wanted to show you that Rue, you can breathe fire. <laughs> that That is a thing that you can do. So, you can only do it once every, like, five days or something. Yeah, once every five days. But uh, you can spit fire at people. So, that's pretty awesome. Uh, I found out during my test run that that's actually pretty powerful. Because most people are scared of fire or at the very least you know don't try to walk through it <laughs> so it's pretty powerful whenever you're in like melee situations you can uh you can get people off your back a lot with that which is pretty dope as well so yeah really cool 
Happy to have a dragon on the team. <laughs> For the last time, though, I'm heading to bed. Well, getting off at least. You guys have a good night, and I'll see you in a couple days. As always, be kind to each other, and bye-bye, y'all.